Dink City, baby. Story of my life. All right. Skunks out of the boat a lot earlier, though, this morning. Skunks out. First thing. I'm going around trying to throw a little top water, and Daniel's pitching around the drop shot, Mr. Spinning Rod King. But uh, day three is here. It's a beautiful day. That is not a keeper, but that's the earliest we've been bit yet, so uh, stay tuned. Heck yeah. Where's my stuff? All my stuff's everywhere. Oh dude, that's a that's a better fish than I was expecting. Keeper. Yeah, that's the first keeper of the day. So alright guys, as you can see we're in a mess right now. I'm having to retie a leader and do a bunch of annoying stuff. But uh yeah, I mean that's a good fish, dude. Is that a brush pile? Can't get bait. Mm. Oh. Yo, that's a cool bass. I was out there, bro. Don't don't grab the line though, cause this is this is eight pound. Yeah. Coming back to you. Nice fish, really nice fish. Hold on, I'm trying to give you slack. Nope. Heck That'll yeah, dude. Cut a check right there, buddy. Yeah, that's a good fish. That'll Dude, cut a check. I'm kind of wondering if what we just saw in the graph was bass. Look how fat he is, too. That's... He's been eating, baby. That was like... I'd say it's safe to say we know this is a decent topwater bite spot in the morning. Quick release. Yeah. Uh, you get a fish? Yep. Nice. Hell yeah. Perfect. And that guy's not there. On your worm, on the Carolina rig, buddy. Perks of uh, having a lakeside place to live in. Also, we got our friend Mr. Duck here and the the potter. She's got laid some eggs in the potter, so uh, she's hanging out. Try not to mess with her too much. But uh, yeah, we're already back here super early because we forgot to bring out food for the day. Got the goods. So stop at the house number two is over. 
I promise we're not going back, but maybe one more time today for lunch or to avoid a storm. Yeah. Uh, we went back first because we forgot to bring food. And then we went back a second time because Daniel had to go. Emergency potty breaks are pretty much a constant. You know, it's just... I mean, when you're fishing with, da- with the Jenkins Bass Fishing, yeah. you better expect to be stopping at a restroom. Oh, yeah. But yeah. we made it to a toilet. It's not just the bank this time, so... Uh, Upgrades. We're still fishing, though. And we're finding some. Down. I got one. Yeah, I feel bad for hooking it, honestly. Can it come off? Actually, a nice fish. God, dude, I couldn't have had a better hook set. All right. Well, as you guys can see, decent fish. He's skinny, though. I have one under the boat. Look at this. Look at this. Look at him. Oh, up. Oh. up. How big is it? Oh. I can. He's still on there? He feels like a good fish, honestly. Dude, how's he, 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 he just, he just like how. And I go back underneath the dock. He swam all the way. Dude, I cast it out to where you got stuck over here. And while you were coming over here, he took it and swam underneath the boat all the way around the motor and back to the dock. Alright guys, it is about 1 o'clock, maybe closer to 1.30 by now, and uh, it is blazing hot out here on the third day of practice, and started off overcast, our bite was really good in the morning, and then as soon as that sun came out, we've been, you know, finding them on docks, but nothing great, we've been seeing a ton of fry, which is, you know, 
we fully thought the fry would be gone by now and you know that would be over but like a ton of these deeper docks have fry on them and bass and uh and then a lot of the floaters have had you know fish underneath them we've been catching them you know with a, a fluke and, and all that and we just pulled up to a, a new spot and the first floating dock we came up to i wanted to throw a swim bait i didn't really feel like throwing a senko and a shaky head would have been too deep and I threw out the missile baits shockwave and immediately got smoked and fish jumped and it was probably five and a half to six pounds. Absolute monster. And the rod I had it on just, you know, it was, it really wasn't the right rod. And it was, it was more like a drop shot style rod. And I just didn't get a great hook set in them. And after two jumps, we lost them before we could get in the boat. But uh, we're definitely, definitely getting on a pattern there's Blake over there, and uh, we're starting to figure them out. It's brutally hot, and honestly, I was—I don't think either one of us were in the greatest moods before we just saw that fish. But uh, I mean, it does prove that we're onto something. We're slowly grinding it out, and uh, hopefully, we'll get the next fish on camera. I can't use my GoPro right now because it's overheating. Because GoPro still hasn't sent me my Hero Eight. They suck. It's been like a month. And uh, I still don't have that back because it broke the first time. Um, but hopefully Blake's will uh, catch the next one on camera. Another morning on the water for practice. We got Daniel over here leaving the dock. Bo's dropping his boat in. The GoPro's set up and the sun is coming out. It's time to go find some fish. I gotta catch me at least one bass. Uno basso. Uno bassaria. Uno fisheria. Uh, hopefully none. Wow. Yes, let's go, dude. That was sweet. You need a boat flip or you want the mat? I need a boat Let's, let's go. go. That was sweet. One or two bigger than him. Yeah, you, yeah, you need him. Like, if he's the bottom two, you're fine. Mm -hmm. oh. Heck yeah. Yeah. Choked it. All right, what was that? Like two casts later? No, what was the next cast? Next cast. All right, next cast. I'm gonna put my chesty on. Maybe get a little bit more action, and uh, our spot worked out well, I guess. All my foes are kinful. Damn North Carolina. Dude, got that one. Wow. That's a big one. Pulling drag too. Uh, that's a giant. I don't, I don't think he's, he's quite as big as you think, but it's it's definitely three. it's definitely a good fish. He might be four. Let's go! Wow, I just turned the GoPro on. Yep, yep, that's a good fish. Hell yeah, dude! All right, no, no more. Yeah, he looked small when he first jumped. No, I I could hear it when he hit. Like that fish is big. And then he started ripping drag. First good one. Maybe. Good one. Here it is. Yeah, that's a good one. Just go ahead and flip it. Oh, I didn't think he was going to be here. Right there. Yeah, we're not there. We're not there. 
my god. Whoa, that was dangerous. Driving the boat. What up? He's scanning a point for me. I'm deleting some footage off the GoPro because I forgot to bring my extra SD card. Classic. But we're uh, we're catching some fish this morning. The top water seems to have died off a little bit. It is eight o'clock on the dot, and uh, we're gonna go and try and find some of these deeper fish, maybe some big ones. All right, we got a noon update video. We made a little pit stop at Captain's Quarters, a little tackle shop here on the water. They've got some really good stuff in there. Uh, Daniel's up there throwing trash away, reorganizing. We restocked on a couple baits. We've been talking about how hot it is. We're not catching any fish because it's so dang hot. Uh, and we were just saying how good a beer would taste right now. Uh, it is so dang hot. I swear the fish have gone into hibernation or all died and floated upside down. They're gonna reincarnate tonight. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty mediocre right now. So uh, I think they floated over the dam and the flood. They're all gone. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, Daniel thinks that the ones that are down here, they, they floated over the dam a couple weeks ago when it flooded, so. Yeah, they're just gone, you know. We're gonna go, I don't know, float around with the trolling motor instead of the big motor and cast some, but no promises on any fish. All right, guys, so we pull up on this spot. Power pull down, and I make the cast with the crankbait and catch a tub. Absolute tub. tub. None of the GoPros are running. We're gonna get them off the hook here. Alright, we're back on the water after our gas up. We pulled the boat out right there. Got some gas, got the essentials, got a case of water, got a case of white claw, got some popcorn, got some ice cream. Frozen fruit ice cream. Uh, dinner. But uh, yeah, we're heading back to the house now. We're gonna cook up some dinner and have a good night. Morning number umpteen million. It's Friday morning. Tyler's there. We got out from under our boat bunk bed. Bo's putting his boat in the water, talking to his dad. We're gonna go try and find a couple fish this morning and then it's gonna get hot in a hurry, so we're gonna might go grind the, offshore. Might be the hottest day is what it's gonna feel like because it's calling for like straight up sun and no clouds or anything. And that was like the first day we had and the bite was rough, but. Uh, but it's a beautiful day, beautiful morning. So we'll see. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, that wasn't a... Look, it just got eight again. Look at... Oh my gosh. Is your GoPro running? Yeah, my GoPro's on. Yo, look, it's eating it. It's... I mean, dude, that, that looks like a good fish. We're back on the water after lunch. The sun is high. It's a bluebird day. Looking like it's gonna be the opposite of what the tournament is, but so we're checking out some stuff that we think will work if the sun comes out in the tournament. Yep. We went to an area where we had caught them in the mornings before, just to see if we could catch them there in the high sun and caught one on accident. I mean, I didn't even set the hook. Cameras weren't running because we were talking to our friends before and forget to set them up. 
Uh, but it was a two and a half pounder and we didn't even mean to hook it. We never set the hook, but he just hooked himself. We've now run down to the bottom end of the lake. So there could potentially be some stuff in the afternoon. Uh, Daniel, what's your comments? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is kind of like, hopefully gonna be some backup plan type stuff because tournament day is supposed to be stormy, cloudy, etc. Ideal situation at this point is we're gonna get a bag very quickly on top water and then we're going to continue that top water bite a lot later into the day that we've been able to because of those storms, because of those, you know, clouds that are gonna be there. Um, but honestly, you know, we gotta have a backup plan. If the sun's coming out, we think they're pinned on docks and we've seen a lot of fry and a lot of bluegills and a lot of bluegill eaters and fry garters. So that's why we're fishing docks. Um, so we just really wanna get these areas nailed down to the point where we feel confident that we have options no matter what the weather brings us. Yeah, so sorry about the lack of videos. Uh, honestly, we haven't caught Jack Diddley today, uh, but we're gonna keep coming at you and keep trying as hard as we can. All right, so end of day, is it five, four of practice? Uh, a day, a lot of practice. Yeah, Friday. Uh, it's Friday. We got here on Monday, so I guess it's the fourth day. Fourth day of practice. The tournament is on Sunday. As you can see, we are at the dock. Uh, it is about 5.30. There is a million pleasure boaters out there, but we did figure a little something out after lunch. Uh, it was a frustrating morning for us, but we pulled it back together and we're getting a game plan and tomorrow's gonna be a lot of checking at different spots. Yeah. And stay tuned and see how tomorrow goes. And then we'll see y'all for the tournament video. All right, morning number six, I think. It is Saturday morning, the night, day before the tournament. We are about to make a long run up and check the spot that we found up the Roanoke for topwater. I'm flying solo this morning. Daniel is actually putting his boat in to test run it. He's done some work to it and wanted to make sure everything was good just while he has it here. And it actually worked out because we have a spot on the other end of the lake that he wants to check as well. So stay tuned and see if we get on them. There probably won't be a lot of fish catches today, but it's a very important day. Spot check number one was a success. I got two blow ups in the spook. They didn't seem super huge, but they were a success. And then moved over to the point and actually did not get any blow ups, but talked to Daniel on the phone. He's checking the other spot. They were getting bit on the bottom. They were shaking them off. And they shook off one and I tried to shake off another, but they had swallowed the hook all the way down, as you'll see, or as you guys saw. Uh, so that's a really good sign that they're there and there's bait everywhere. So I'm gonna go off to the next spot and check that and see how we do. Hey Daniel, what? how many rods does it take to catch a fish? I don't speak any doing this. Oh no. <laughs> Obviously we ain't catching the fish. We're hashtag dial, baby. 